Hey guys, Chad here with Avenue Bourbon, and today we're going to be talking about Hirsch Cast Strength Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey Finished in Cognac Barrels. So this was graciously lent to me by its bourbon night for the purpose of this review. I did not spend any money on this. I don't think they spent any money on this, but let's go over the facts. So this is a Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. It has a mash bill of 72 corn, 13 rye, 15% malted barley, and it comes in at 127 proof. This is no slouch. So for those of you who know about the Kentucky source for the Hearst brand, you will know where this is from. This is contracted by Willet. Yes, that Willet. So the presentation on this comes in a nice fancy box. It has all the details on it, finished in French cognac barrels. Seven and a half year old whiskey, bourbon rather. And coincidentally enough, this has the receipt in it. So this was purchased on March 9th of 2023 for $179.99. Out the door was a grand total of $197.54. So 200 bucks, we'll just say 200 bucks. So if you're curious about the inside of the box, I will put that up now and you can pause to read the full information. But let's talk about this bottle. I love this bottle. Really nicely in one hand, pours easy. It's very well designed bottle. I like it. This is not the same Hirsch of years past, you know, that old Stitzel Weller, uh, those nice old super deep dark double H stated bottles and that nice cognac bottle that you're familiar with, Pappy Van Winkle. But of course, as people are doing, they're buying old brands, revitalizing them and starting their own thing. Let's give it a nose. It's very malt and grass heavy on the nose. Getting a little bit of that dried fruit from the cognac. There's not, not, not a lot coming through right yet. There it comes. Just a few seconds in the glass, it's really opening up, getting a ton of that dried fruit, some green apple in there. It's got a punch of oak to it, and it's a little bit of a bitter oak, something that with Willet, I think is kind of a, a signature. The, the bitter oak and the cinnamon punch on the nose and on the palate, it, it, both of those notes are always on a Willet prospect, at least to me. If I drink something that has those notes, I assume it's Willet. It might not be Willet. Let's have a taste. So to preface this, I had a pour of this the day I brought it home. I mean, we're talking a smidge, a smidge of a, of a pour. And I was not a huge fan, at, at least then. Uh, I hadn't had anything all day, no food, just a lot of water. I drink about a gallon or so of water a day, so maybe this wasn't the right thing to have on an empty stomach. But boy, does it settle nicely so far. That first sip, it's oily. It is hitting every part of the, of the palate. Sits nicely, 127 proof. This, this drink's nowhere near 127 proof. Nowhere near that at all. But it has that signature, and this I get this on a lot of Willet products, a very grassy, earthy, green note quite like it has not ripened yet. Like there's, it's almost as if they took a seven and a half year old bourbon and splashed a two year on top of it. So far there are things about this I do like and there are things I don't like. Having a couple sips now back to back, the proof is showing. It is building. Usually you have a, a couple sips of some high proof bourbon and it kind of tapers off. This is kind of going the opposite direction and I, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling the tingle on my lips, the tingle on my tongue. There's a good bit of tannins to it, which I like. I really like the tannins. I think that's kind of helped mask some of the, the imperfections, so to speak, of the product. Coming at this from a sort of a biased view of someone who's not, I just don't get the will at hype. Trying to separate that from this, but also keeping in mind where the juice comes from is, is kind of a hard thing for me to do, but I'm trying. I think one of the best things about this is the fact that it is cognac finish in 30 year old cognac barrels. This has a really, really nice dried fruit, green apple, black cherry, plum, raisin. I mean, all, all the dark fruits, all the brown notes, this has it. Coming back to the nose, it's still nice and sweet, getting a ton of that fruit on there. A little bit of cinnamon sugar, the green apples, almost uh, like a skillet apple, fried apples, whatever you call them, if you know what those are. If you don't know what those are, Go to Cracker Barrel. The cognac really helps hide a lot of those green notes I typically get on a Willet product. Usually on a Willet product, it's not so much the palate, but the nose. I find a lot of harshness, a lot of grass, earth, and malt. This is very much opposite into that. The very nice nose, very pleasant. It's very soft. This is not nose like 127 proof bourbon. I can stick my nose in the glass, take a big old whiff of it, and it is just this boop, oops, 
take a big old whiff of it, and it's just this bouquet of fruit notes. So all said and done, at $200, I don't know that I'm into this. I do think it's good. I, I, I do think it's really good. I would probably cap myself out on this probably around 125. I mean, if, if it was from a small, super small local store, maybe 150, but so for those of you who are Willet fans, a seven and a half year barrel pick will probably run you two to $300 if someone's pricing it correctly. Some stores might price it at six, 700 plus and finished in 30 year old cognac barrels at cast strength of 127 proof. So I understand the blueprint of this item. It's a great finish. It's a high proof. It's from a highly sought after distillery and it's got some age behind it on, on, on the finishing and the, the base bourbon. I just don't know that I'm into this at 200 bucks, but I do like it. This is probably one of the first Willet products I've had of, of modern era that I've actually been a fan of. I'm able to look past those green, earthy, grassy notes because of that awesome cognac finish. I don't know anyone from Hirsch. I don't know the first name of anyone to even contact from Hirsch, but what I will say is they did a great job on the finishing of this, and I think that the finishing is spectacular. I love cognac finishes. I think it's underappreciated. And as someone from my point of view who's not a fan of the base whiskey, it's a way to take that whiskey and turn it into something actually that I will like to drink. If I was able to get this bottle for around 100 bucks, 125 like I said, max 150 I would buy it because I do enjoy it. Let me know below what you guys think of Hirsch Cognac Finished Whiskey. Have you had it? Are you a fan of Willet? Is that something you're into? Do you want to see more reviews like this? If you do, you're going to have to send me some samples. I don't own any Willet products. But comment below what you think. I'm a fan. Prices may vary. Opinions may vary. Do with that what you will. Have a great day. Cheers, y'all.